Okay, what I want to do today is talk about um, problem solving, um, technical issues, um, and th you know, this is uh, quite an important issue because particularly if you're working independently, you're working in a small organisation uh, or a department where you don't have technical specialists with you, quite often you have to, when you run into a technical problem, it might be trying to figure out how to, I don't know, run a macro, a certain type of macro in Excel or um, like the example I'm going to give today, running a integration services package, running a, an expression or derived column with an integration services package, or it may be actually just writing a little bit of code. Quite often, when you want, to, when you're trying to do that, you'll run into a, into a problem, which will you can spend a long time trying to burn time on it. So, um, in these sort of situations, I think it's really useful to develop a or have a problem-solving framework in which to attack these problems. So what I'll do today is I just want to give a um, give you an example of sort of the, pra the process that I follow. So um, what I'll do today is I'll give you a real example um, of a problem that I faced in integration services where I needed to convert um, data, um, time, information which is in a very non-standard format so when I say non-standard format it could start with for example minutes then go into seconds or it could start on days then followed by hours or it could actually just say one day without the S in it then hours minutes seconds um, and so you can see it's very very unstructured and what I wanted to do was convert that into a um, into basically a like a decimal um, Count, uh, actual, sorry, I wanted to convert it into the number of hours um, that that time was. So if it was one hour zero seconds, that would, I'd convert that just to a one. Um, so what I did was I basically I knew that it was probably a string manipulation solution using fine strings and substrings within integration services. Um, and I tried to, I spent about half an hour trying to solve the problem and uh, came up and couldn't figure it out basically. So what I normally do is I'll get, when I run into a problem, I'll set aside a dedicated amount of time to actually solve it, generally about half an hour. If not, I then um, fall back onto this problem solving um, framework which I'll explain today. So what I then do is go on to one of the um, online forums with Microsoft, with the Microsoft products, there's obviously a whole range of MSDN type forums, the social forums there, and what I generally do is put a post up. Um, and the good thing about these posts is that um, they're frequented by you know people who know a lot about the uh, the software in which the post is about, and also it um, uh, there are also these moderators on here who. Um, Again, generally very, very experienced people. They're often guys actually who are writing a lot of the uh, technical books on um, on the particular piece of software. So what I said, um, I said, hi folks, I've got a um, time column that I need converting into total minutes. Uh, elapse. The structure is very, un it's the format is very unstructured. You know, at the moment I'm working on substrings, fine strings, conditional splits to try and come up with a solution. There must be an easier way or a more elegant way to do it. Can you suggest a reason? Or can you suggest a, uh, a way forward? Um, 50 minutes later, the moderator came on and said, nope, you're following the right track, um, uh, unless, of course, you're familiar with scripting. So, I mean, what I realised was that, okay, this is a little bit beyond my skills or knowledge with substrings, fine strings. So, um, this is a very important um, thing to solve. So, what I then did was go on to a um, onto a, another site on the internet where you can actually subcontract out these sort of solutions. So I then went to Elance, so that's Elance.com, and posted the um, the the problem on there and said, "Look, can someone help me out?" Um, and a few hours later, this guy, me, uh, me, I, and in India came back to me guy based in Bangalore um, and said yeah I can do that for fifty fifty dollars and um, basically I, I said yep that sound sounds good sure that's only uh, it's not too much of my time sure and it's better to get the problem solved rather than me wasting hours on it and then he came back with a um, 
with the solution. So it's quite a complex um, expression within integration services, but um, took me no time to come up with that, just uh, a matter of going through the problem solving um, process. So that involves um, spending a little bit of time myself to come up with a solution. If that doesn't work, clearly define what the um, what the solution is. Go into one of the um, one of the forums, ask people for advice. Um, if that advice, if you, if I can't use that advice to actually come up with a solution myself, I then go onto a forum like Elance and outsource the uh, the problem. So um, hopefully um, you found this um, this sort of framework or process um, useful. Um, I definitely think it um, helps. Um, it's quite a uh, it's a very methodical way and it um, saves uh, your time and also saves your sanity. So um, I definitely recommend using it if, you've, um, if you're having problems.